of its own busy, uh, busy, busy video. So I did the video here about the, uh, if you look this up, Hard Rock Hotel Collapse Video Fail Zone. And in that video, we, we show the Spanish guys um, calling uh, American people gringos and a few other derogatory names. So I said, you know, it's just psychology, you know, it's uh, people's biases. So it goes every which way. It goes black, white, Mexican, Puerto Rican, whatever it may go. It goes all the time, every which direction. He just happened to bust himself by doing a video of him saying it. And then post it online of him saying it. So the boys lack some brains. He lacks some brains. You don't you don't call people of a, of a different nationality these things. You know he, they don't like it when they when they're called Mexicans or Guatemalans or whatever. I think that's 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 wrong. But it's a bias. It's just a bias. Look, guys, if you got I get a lot of Filipino watchers. Guys in Philippines, they love the Philippines. I'd be insulting them to say, hey. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you wish you were American? That would be quite insulting because they're vested. They're all, that would be attacking them because they're Filipinos, etc., etc., etc. So every country has a pride. He was just showing his pride, but this dummy turns out to not even be legal here in the United States, as my man shares, and they lock his ass up. The collapse. The suit filed on behalf of five and. So when people say it's not union. Um, well, I guess we can say that's not union on the concrete or whatever that guy's boy, man's position was. And yeah, we saw a lot of Spanish people here. In fact, if you go to NOLA, um, they, they must be one of the uh, countries, the states, <laughs> one of the countries that allow it. So uh, um, they're, uh, they're bilingual there. But Louisiana has always been known for a little bit of a uh, little bit of Cajun, a little Cajun mix up. So. How can you hate the Cajuns? But they're not Cajun, obviously, and I don't even know if they do Cajun anymore. I like saying that. Sort of like a Dijon mustard when I say it. Cajun. Cajun. There we go. Meantime, another lawsuit has been filed in the wake of the collapse of suit. I wanted to marry a Cajun at one time. I never even met her. But it just seemed like they were something to marry. <laughs> How's that for some damn bias as a child? There we go. Meantime, another lawsuit has been filed in the wake of the collapse. The suit filed on behalf of five injured workers, some of them Hispanic workers who are not in the country legally. One of those. Here we go. Five, one of them is not in the country legally. Injured workers already taken into custody. Taken into custody. One, whatever. And for a little added bias, what country is he from? North America, da da da. LLC. I don't know who hired him, but this is the document versus. Um, oh, they put all five of them up there. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Versus these are the five people going against it, but one of them is an illegal, an illegal, an illegal, illegal facility. An illegal alien. Those injured workers already taken into custody by ICE, now being detained in the federal detention facility in Oakdale. His attorneys say that he was detained less than 24 hours after talking about the accident with a Spanish language news outlet. The law firm. Uh, so they won't. But this this news station we listen to, doing a narrative, they won't say what he said. Maybe he was going back to that gringo shit, you know, saw the United States. Well, you know, that that's that's one of the people that can get a little wild. You know, if you hate the United States, you shouldn't be here. If you love the United States and, you know, and you're illegal, that's awesome. It would be like, wow, I can't believe it. You know, I love this country. I can't believe they they got some messed up steel going up here. You know, that, that would have been different. But he was like, stupid gringos, stupid engineers here. He was quite, quite insulting to uh, his income. Here we go language news outlet. The law firm of Wright, Pichon, and Gray filed the suit, alleging that the building collapsed because of poor workmanship, poor quality materials, faulty engineering, and unsafe acceleration of multiple phases of the construction project. Unsafe acceleration. All right. So 16, right? That's supposed to be the uh, videos loading up. I don't know if I should get there first of French Quarter. Anyway. Fact. 
I just love that part. One that of was those injured cool. workers already taken into custody by ICE. Now being detained in the federal detention facility in Oakdale, his attorneys say that he was detained less than 24 hours after talking about the accident with a Spanish. So I stand corrected if you guys want to say foreigners and all that. It's just data. We'll throw it in there. And does it count? It sure does. Because if you guys ever try to communicate with a Spanish-speaking person on a job site, and you don't speak Spanish, it is, well, trying to speak to someone of a different language. And yet, they're the ones supposed to be performing. So, I mean, you know, where, where does a Spanish person go get training? Where is the Spanish training class for, for doing the proper concrete? Where is that? It, it's not, it's not really, I don't, I don't know of that. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm not being biased. I just don't know of it. Uh, maybe you guys do. And so, obviously, I'm going to offend a lot of Spanish-speaking people. But just look at this data. I go two ways. Hey, a minute ago, I, I slammed the union, right? So if you can't take it, I get it. You feel like you're attacked. I apologize for anybody feeling like they're attacked. I'm just sharing the data that our man over here, Ski B, 50 bought us again. And look at the iron in this building. Interesting. Um, and we're going to have to go here. So we're going to prove his comment because it's a link. He says, Popo got busted. Uh, I guess I said, that's the one that kept talking uh, trash. And now, he, this is a nice little link he sends us over. Let's critique the steel. That way I can share the data with you through critique and education. I don't need to share it all, so I will tell you from Twitter to Twitter. So, and I'll share the link. Look at the spacing here. It's very nice. It's got gridded material. Um, you got multiple people on the uh, pump here. Pump from one side to the other. This looks like the sun's just coming up, so they're, they've been on this for a minute. Um, and I don't see any work lights, but they've been on it for a minute. And here we go, the spacing of this. Look at the spacing. So very taut. That means tight for you gentlemen. So very close. And women. And let's move it. Let's move it. And there's the studs. There's the studs showing the spacing. And there's the spacing. So now you can see why spacing matters. Size matters, guys. You know, you know, size matters. No, it doesn't really matter, does it? You can talk trash. That might matter. All right, so I don't, want, I don't need all the data. Just, just enough to share the link with you and show you the size matter. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that spacing. It's so taut coming this direction. That's the diaphragm. Um, yeah, diaphragm is area. And, and this might be a different product. This might be that decking that uh we just looked went over can't tell if it's dovetail or not all right i'm terminating this video posting it you should see two or in total three tonight and maybe even more i don't know